standard JK taillights. Much cooler JK taillights. The JW Speaker Model 279J Series. They're a great new option for your Jeep and they're super easy to install. I'll show you how easy, but first, let's talk about why you want them. And they're really for the same reasons you choose headlights or fogs from JW Speaker. They're better lights, they're better looking, and they'll set your vehicle apart from all the other JKs. These lights have been designed exclusively for Jeeps. The contoured housing has the same dimensions as the stock tail lights, but they'll fit just fine under your rock guards. These lights are going to get attention before you ever put them to use. But just wait until you do use them, and our innovative light blade technology fires up. People are going to take notice, especially that guy riding your bumper. There are two different versions of the 279J series tail lights. The European version has an amber turn signal, and you'll get a red turn signal on the North American version. If you've got our headlights, add these, and you'll have one good looking JK that's surrounded by the best and latest in LED technology. The JW Speaker 279J series taillights are probably one of the easiest accessories you'll ever install on your JK. If you've got a couple of basic tools in a few minutes, you can be the envy of your fellow wheelers. Start by popping off the factory taillights. Just remove the two inside screws and set them aside. You're going to need those for the install. The outside screws can stay in place. Then unplug the connector. Now your kit came with all the hardware you're going to need for installation. It has a mounting bracket for each side's resistor and the clips and fasteners you'll need to attach it to the internal frame of the Jeep. JW speaker lights don't draw as much power as a factory light, so the resistors are there to prevent a false return that the taillights are out. To attach the resistor to the bracket, grab hold of the lock nut with a quarter inch wrench and tighten the small bolts with a Phillips head. Next, you're going to slide the S clips onto each bracket. The rounded edge should face the resistor. Then clip the resistor to the internal sheet metal of the quarter panel. The resistor should face the front of the vehicle. Plug in the connectors and with everything in place, just use the factory screws to attach your new lights. But before you fully tighten them, check for gaps. A slight shift one way or the other should get you a tight fit. Snug out the screws and you're done. Like I said, it's a super easy install. Should take you less than a half an hour. But in return, you're going to get years of eye-catching performance. For fitment and specs, go to jwspeaker.com or contact your JW Speaker dealer or distributor for more information.